You doing all right, Bubba? And Link is, uh, he's my prize bunny. I went to Georgia to a rabbit show to get him. And uh, he had some kind of paralysis. I think it might have been from an inner ear infection, which uh, he did have ear mites. Uh, I've managed to get them cleared out. I've been putting a little bit of peroxide in his ear uh, every other day. He seems to be doing a little bit better. He'll, uh, I'll let you kind of see how he, I know right now he looks like he's in turtle mode. But he's, he's still a good boy. He's still a good boy. I have to give him a little bit of water each day. Here, Bubba. Here's you some waters. Oh, good, you drink a bubba, bubba. A lot of times he'll sit up and uh, he'll, I mean, he'll look like he's almost normal for a little bit, but he rolls and he likes to lay on one side. And like I said, he's got some kind of paralysis and I don't know if it's going to clear up. Uh, he doesn't try to get out of his box. He just pretty much stays in his box and I sprinkle, I put his little pellets in there and other things to eat. You good boy. You turn up side. You quit laying like that, boy. You look silly. You look real silly, puppy. Oh, she's a good boy. I love you. So he's been like this for about three weeks. And uh, like I said, he's doing a lot better now. At first, he was in pain. And now he seems to be stabilizing a good bit. But he's going to be a good boy. He's going to sit up. He does sit up from time to time. He likes to lay on his side, though, for whatever reason. You a pretty boy, love you little facey puppy. Yeah, puppy, pup. mm, I'm pretty. I'll check in on you next week, baby. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'll give you a little update on him each week, so. Hopefully you pull out of it, Bubba. Hopefully you pull out of it, little pup pup. All right, getting ready to feed the little beggars this evening. What are you doing in there? Don't eat that. Ocho, you're not supposed to eat that. He's eating an onion. Come here, onion boy. Here, eat your bell peppies. Eat your baby baby here. Yummers. Um, Miss Hashround, she's uh she's probably got a litter coming in a couple of weeks. And um really looking forward to seeing hers and uh hers and Ocho's babies. Uh, Ocho is uh her offspring. This is orangey right here. Uh we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the uh the six week old babies this evening and they're looking good. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give everybody some bell pepper and we'll we'll cut back to it. But uh, we'll also be giving Mimi Flip Flips bunnies a new box with hay in it. They're 16 today and they're just now almost ready to start hopping out of the box. So I'm gonna try to uh, give them a little bit of food, uh, normal rabbit food, to, to see if they'll eat on that. Put a few Cheerios and see if they'll nibble on some bell pepper. It's always good to try to get them to start uh, transitioning to some. Uh, some uh, real rabbit food around that age so let's uh let's get everybody set up and we'll uh we'll settle in for this evening see what we got going on all right let's see mimi miss mimu's litter here we've got three bunnies left so um of the six that she originally had i lost two and uh, one was rehomed yesterday the tricolored baby and now we've got three, and they look real good. Y'all look real good, guys. And uh, they're getting real big, especially the one that had my eyes on it. It's getting bigger than um, it's getting bigger than its siblings. I'm looking to hold back one of these uh, bucks because Link Link like I said he um, he had some kind of paralysis. I still got him upstairs. Let me close this window right here. And I've just been keeping him in a box. He won't he won't get out of his box. He just kind of stays in there and I give him food in there and I have to give him water, but uh he's not he's not gonna be able to breed anymore, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he'll I don't think he's gonna recover from what he's in, but he's not too much trouble to take care of as as he is. Um and so I just kind of keep him upstairs where I'm at and bring him down here at night. But you guys look real good. Hey, come here, little baby. Does everybody see this pretty things? You all look real good. And we're gonna look at Miss uh, Mimi Flip Flip's babies here in a minute. I'm gonna give them a new box and uh, see if they'll um, eat some rabbit pellets and Cheerios and see if they'll nibble on their hay. That's always kind of fun. But y'all guys look real pretty. I love these orange ones. These are beautiful. You're pretty. You pretties. I love you. You tweet. And they grow so much um, from now until they're about three or four months old. They just, it's like every week, they just seem like they double in size almost. But 
They're just uh, gorgeous. Y'all are so pretty. Y'all pretty. I'm keeping one of those if they're a buck. I'm pretty sure there will be one. But uh, everybody's eating their Belby Peppies. Over here, Miss uh, Mimi Flip Flip. We're going to look at hers. She's probably my sweetest of all my bunnies. She's just, uh, her mom was a real sweet bunny. And it kind of carried over. It kind of carried over to her. And you're just wonderful. Come here, baby. And probably what I'll do, uh, we'll keep following these, uh, these three guys right here until they find homes and I pick one out. And they'll, um, you know, we'll do, like I said, the update video on, the, on Sundays. Uh, but we're going to transition to, um, when you when I show when we do the new video it'll be her babies at um I guess twenty three days and we'll follow those until Miss Hash Rounds come along and they're a few weeks old or a couple weeks old or so but um we'll still be following the uh the um the Harlequin orange colored bunnies up here. Let's look in the box. Let's see if we can get a over the top shot here. And then we'll uh I'll pull the box out here in a minute. And put them all in a new um, a new box with new straw in it and everything. But you can see them down there. I'm thinking I got them all in the shot right here. One, two, three, four. You guys, what are you doing, you little boy? Don't jump out of the box. <laughs> I love those little tricolored bunnies. You look real good. Y'all ready? Y'all run out of food in there? Look at you. Wake them up. Wake them up, little babies. Don't you jump out of the bot bot. Don't you jump out. Be a good boy. We're gonna we're gonna remove that old bedding and put them some new uh new stuff in there. What are you doing? Sticking your nose out? Pretty. And I had something I wanted to kinda pass by um my viewers here and and I'll talk about it a little bit each week, but I wanted to kind of give some people some motivation to subscribe i want to try to get everything up to a, a thousand subs and uh i'd like to try to do that this year so i can get a little bit of uh, money coming in off the channel but um we'll do little challenges as we go along and as the channel grows we'll do little challenges and so what i was thinking to do up until about uh a thousand subs is every week for every 50 subs i'm going to um i'm going to add a permanent bale of hay down here i get these real big bales of hay at the farm store and um the bunnies just go wild over them they dig them eat it scratch on it rip them apart you know these uh that's the remainder of a big one that they they kind of snip the, the string on and it come unraveled over time and i just i sweep it up as they kind of scatter it around put it in their cages and stuff and there was another one over here but we're going to do uh what I'm going to do to kind of motivate uh, you guys to subscribe and uh, help me get the uh, subscribers up is to every 50 subs, we'll do a, I'll add a permanent bell and every 100 subs, we're going to remove uh, some of the old worm bins. I've got 10 of them in here and uh, each 100 subs, we're going to remove a worm bin. I've got 10. So that means that every 100 up to a thousand will eventually have all this cleared out. And we'll just have, uh, you know, we'll add the hay bills at every 50 subs and it'll just be a huge uh, area for, just for the bunnies to come down here and play. And that's going to be the, the YouTube channel. And I'm just going to devote this whole area to the bunnies. But you got to help me get to that point because uh, it's not easy growing these uh, channels sometimes. But I, I kind of feel like this is going to be fun for people. It's fun for me. It's uh, It's very relaxing to have these guys around and just to interact with them and do things to make their life more enjoyable. He's so sweet. Your babies are sweet, mama. But yeah, do that. Subscribe and uh, every 50 bells, I think we're right around right around 50 subs. Every 50 subs, we'll put a uh, permanent bell. I'm going to go pick some up uh, anyway on Monday. And um, and we'll go we'll go every 50 subs up until 1,000. So that means I'll have about 20 bells of hay down here just for them to play in. And, um, you know, as they break the bell down, I'll add it back. You know, I'll, I'll replace it with a fresh one. And uh, it'll just be it'll just be interesting. And then uh, every hundred subs, we'll remove these uh, remove one of these bins. So let's check out Mimi Flip Flips babies. And uh, like I said, Miss Hash Round hers is coming up here pretty soon, and they're going to be gorgeous. 
And I'm thinking I'm going to wait, either go pick up another buck for uh, Miss Orangey, because right now the only buck I have is uh, is her offspring. So I could line breed, but I would get a lot of I get a lot of roos and Charlies and stuff. I don't really want to do that. I'll either let her breed with uh, one of the new bucks coming along, or I'll go pick another one up. So it just depends on how that works out. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush it on her. Um, you know, I do want at least people to come by locally and get some of these. Uh, before I just start over breeding them and everything. But uh, anyway, let's check out Mimi Flip Flip's uh, Sweet Babies. We're going to give a new box. Okay, these guys are real pretty. They're um, 16 today. And uh, debating on whether to put them in a new box. They just seem so peaceful in this one. But between now and next week, they'll get real active. By, by the time next Sunday rolls around, they're going to be running around the cage and Aggravating their mama. Y'all so pretty. Let everybody see these little pretty things. You look real good. Y'all try a few Cheerios? I know y'all ain't gonna be all that interested this week, but I kind of get them used to this. I don't give them many of these. This is something to kind of condition them to um, for the treats and everything. They will nibble on them. And um, I tell you what, let's. Uh, Let's see if we can. You want to try your new bob hut? You want to get a new box? I don't know. I may just leave them in this one for the time being. I don't really want to disturb them too much. I think Mama probably hadn't fed them yet, so a new box. I don't want it to throw them off, but they look real good. Um, we'll probably do that next week. We'll give them a, a new bedding, a new uh, fresh start with their bedding and everything. Y'all look real good. They're not real, they're not real jumpy. That's good. Y'all not jumpy bunnies, y'all tweet bunnies. You're a good one. I love orange and white bunnies. You pretty, baby. Oh. Ooh, you pretty. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, little bun bun. Oh, I love you, little white bunnies. You pretty. Tweets. And you want to take a little bit of time with them when they're this age, just to just to get them used to just to get them used to your smell and just interacting with them. You don't want them to be jumpy rabbits. I've had had I have litters sometimes that are just real skittish for whatever reason. Give me little skitter beans. I love you. I love you, little baby. Ooh, ooh, you pretties. This week's been kind of a busy week for me. I hadn't had a chance to really interact with them a whole lot. So um, I'm hoping between now and next week I'll get a chance to get them out during the day. And You're beautiful. I love you. I love you, little bunny. Mm, birdies. Y'all look good. You look real good. You look real tweet. And, um... Next week's video probably just I'll I'll just title it um, um broken black bunnies uh, litter at 23 days or something like that and we'll still follow these guys up top and see how they progress and which one I select out and how long it takes to find them a new home and everything but we'll we'll still be following everybody and in a couple of weeks uh, the Harlequin bunnies the Harlequin does bunnies will come along and um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to breed it after that. I know um, I'm going to let Orangey breed pretty soon. She would have, uh, if she bred with, with Ocho, I'd have a good bit of tricolor and orange and white. But I'd have some uh, Rue and Charlie bunnies, probably uh, tricolor Charlies and or tricolored orange and whites. But I'm thinking about maybe, uh, I may let them line breed. Um, I don't do that very often. Every now and then I'll, I'll let them try that, but uh, typically I don't. But uh, I'd love to have a I'd love to have a solid to breed with uh, with orangey poo. You're beautiful. Your babies are gorgeous, boy. They tweet. They pretty, boy. And um, and next week I think I'll shift them over to the new straw box. They seem to be doing good in this one, so I don't want to disturb them too much. I don't want to throw the mom's smell off too much. I don't want to miss a feeding or anything. Uh, remember to subscribe. We're gonna do a. a hay bale challenge and uh, i'm going to remove a worm bin every 100 subscribers until we just 
down to no worm bins in the room and we just have a bunch of hay bales for the bunnies to play on and then from there we'll we'll think about some different ways we want to uh, build this bunny room up down here i'm really uh looking forward to it i hope it does I hope the channel does good and uh people will take interest in it i, I love these little babies uh if i could if i could reliably find them homes um you know quicker than i do sometimes I'd, I'd have them all throughout the year and i'd have them all the time and maybe uh things will pick up to where it gets like that who knows but you're sweet look at you this little tricolor buddy is great you're gonna be a good one yeah you will y'all all be good y'all are so pretty and so sweet i love you i love you little baby you hungry i see you in there trying to eat here I'll give you a few cheerios baby here they're in there trying to eat, but there's not really. There you go. I eat you with Cheerio, baby. They good Cheerios. And I sprinkle them Cheerios and pellets in there, and uh, I'll probably get some scissors out and cut up some hay here in a little bit. But yeah, subscribe, and um, I'll see you again next Sunday. We'll uh, we'll go up there and look at Link for just a few seconds to see how he's doing, and uh, I'll give you an update on him a little bit each week till maybe he either recovers or I hope he pulls out of it. But uh next week we'll be we'll be exclusively following along here with these guys and we'll be checking in on these guys up here they they going to probably find a home pretty soon and uh we'll be checking out miss hash rounds babies you're wonderful i love when they let me i love when they let me do this right here this is magic bunny time right here you're wonderful you're a good b -b -b baby mm -hmm, birdies Mm, pretty, mm, pretty, pretty. You a good one. You a good snowball. I love snowballs. Yeah, yeah. You pretty. What are y'all waiting on? You guys looking, looking for food, huh? They're down in there nibbling on something. Mama, they eating. Ooh, this one loves it. Ooh, ooh, we love it. Yeah, you love that. Yeah, so pretty. You just tweet. You a tweet boy. You a tweet girl. Whatever bunny kind of bunny you are, you're sweet. You're gonna be a good one. You're gonna be a good one too. Ooh, I love them. I love them, boy. They purties. Ooh, Ocho, you are pretty. I bet you. <laughs>